The production instance of Corteza can set up by following the instructions in this video. Please note that it is essential to have Docker installed and have at least basic Docker skills. If not, we strongly recommend checking the official website to download and install the software and for the documentation. First we will have to check if Docker is installed. We do this by typing in docker-v. The version number has to be higher than 18.0, so we're fine. Then we will have to check if Docker Compose is installed. We do this by typing docker-compose-v. In this case everything looks okay. Let's continue. First, we need to set up nginx as a reverse proxy to reroute the traffic from our public IP to our Docker containers. And, we need to set up the Let's Encrypt nginx proxy companion to automate the HTTPS certificate management. We create a directory used for Docker Compose to download the images and launch the nginx and Let's Encrypt containers. If you're not an expert, we advise against merging or mixing Corteza and the nginx proxy in the same directory. And, we cd to nginx. Then we will need to create the Docker Compose YAML file, which can be found on the Corteza documentation website. Let's copy the content of the Docker Compose YAML file and paste it to a file into the directory. Then we have to create the custom.conf file. We copy the content and paste it to a file. We are now ready to start the containers with the docker-compose command, which will download the images and start the services. docker-compose starts the services. And then, we can check the status by using docker-compose ps. The state of the containers is up, so we can go on and set up Corteza. We exit the nginx directory. And, we create the Corteza production directory used for Docker Compose to download the images and launch the Corteza platform. We need to cd to the production folder. Then we will need to create there the .env file, which can be found on the Corteza website. Let's copy the code for the .env file and paste it to a file into the directory.
And we have to create the Docker Compose YAML file which also is on the Corteza website. We copy the code again, and we create the file. Please notice that, for the production instance to work, you need to configure your DNS by adding the host, production.example.org, and point it to the IP address, by using an A record, or the host name, by using a C name record of the server you're using for running Corteza. Also, if your server is behind a router or a firewall, remember to open and forward the traffic of the ports 80 and 443 to your Nginx container. Then, we need to change the AuthJWT secret to a random string of more than 30 characters. Last we set up our SMTP server to get the confirmation email after sign up. Now, we are ready to start Corteza with the docker compose up d command, which will download the images and start the system. Docker compose starts the system, and we can then check its status by using docker compose ps. The system will be up and ready when every container is healthy. How long this takes, depends on your computer. A fast computer will take less than a minute on average. Please note that whenever you change the YAML or ENV files, you should repeat docker-compose up to restart the system, since docker-compose restart is not always successful. The system is up, so let's go to the browser and finish the setup. Now we can create our first account, through the sign-up form. The first user gets automatically promoted to an administrator. You can add additional users by using the sign-up form, or by adding them in the administration panel. And it all works. Your Corteza instance is ready.